if I cannot trade the rest of the month and just hit IMDU, I'm happy. I make more money than 90% of traders, right? 100%. But what's hard is like that every trader wants to trade every single freaking day, every single freaking minute, every single freaking stock. By the time I even get GYST alert out, it's already at five. I got it at four, six. These morning spikers move so damn fast lately. <sighs> Penny stocks could often be so illiquid and so so voluminous that you know you, you by the time you enter it's already up ten percent. So that's why you can never chase alerts from anybody. You have to learn the plan. You have to be self sufficient. And I learned this the hard way. Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> yeah. No, like at the, at the beginning, I, I admit I was following trades, and it got me nowhere. And it got you nowhere. Yeah. And now you've made five hundred thousand plus, learning on your own, being yeah. self sufficient. Yeah. Why does everyone make this mistake? Do you, do you think I'm just kidding when I'm saying this? Like, do you think I have like a sense of humor? I don't. I'm not funny. Yeah. <laughs> Stop laughing at me! Okay. <laughs> Look at GYST, 5-8. Beautiful. LTNC, ah, it's a little panic. It's nothing it's, huge. Yeah, nothing at the market open, you gotta be ready for the, the quick morning spikes and the morning panics. LTNC, the lower the better. I might make another trade. Are you still in the NZC doing nothing? No. No, it's, it's holding at 26. Is it? It's yeah. holding? Okay. All I right. Okay. 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 Kyle is the, is the patient warrior of the group. <laughs> he stocks his prey at night. Waiting to pounce. Making my watch list. Making a watch list after market open. Interesting maneuver. Interesting strategy there. Let's see how it pans out. <laughs> Heidi, you need to do more videos like this. <laughs> I hope you understand that. I want LTNC to crack 7.5, but it just doesn't look like it's going to. The longer and longer LTNC holds up, the more excited we get for the multi-day breakout. What is that, Brady Water? Uh, yeah, rumored. So LTNC is a stock on. that like, we're, 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 the, the news story is that Tom Brady is like promoting this like water company. And the funny thing is, is we don't really actually know if Tom Brady even knows what this company is. Like that's the sketch no, thing about penny doesn't. stocks. But it's running, it's got some volatility, it's got some volume. That's all we care about as traders. Looks like the bounce is failing. I'm glad, I hope it takes out 7.5. Usually, sometimes you get a panic, but you don't necessarily wanna buy the initial panic because untrained dip buyers get in. And mm -hmm. when they panic, that's what creates the opportunity. So I really like the second panic better. Potentially. And where it really gets good is when all the panics fail and everyone gets out on the long side and the shorts have to start covering. And that's where you can really see a nice bounce. LTNC testing the day lows. GYST, very nice gain. Oh, LTNC, new day low. So we got morning spikes and morning panics. A lot of this just happens right at the market open. You know, a lot of people have full-time jobs. Ali has a full-time job, although you're lucky that you literally have a job like before the market opens. Like you could not do your job like in another time zone, right? Yeah, I couldn't. Like yeah. when I finish, literally when I just got home, I have 30 minutes. Dude, you're just minutes. nonstop. Mm -hmm. You're just money. Are you thinking about legally changing your name to money? <laughs> Money Ali. Money yeah. Ali. Money Ali's got a ring to is it. Is this yeah. is that what you do? Okay, let's move this here. LTNC is LTNC's bottoming. Can we get it? Still. No. How's Moxie working for you, Kyle? Um, I haven't shorted much. yet. Um it's holding over seven. Red green is six eighty. So still green on the day? Still green on the day, so we're just, we're just waiting. Don't now, will it. you smack that into weakness, into the red move, or are you going to wait for a bounce? Um, I would. I would short red green right now. Because oh. it's the first day. It's Every morning it breaks red green and comes back. Today it hasn't. So I think if it failed the morning spot and then went red green, I think that's a trend shift. Um, so I would I would give that a, a short. A Kyle like is a master short seller, a master analytical person. You can tell just by the glasses he wears. He looks <laughs> smarter than the rest of us. And we're really impressed with his progress here. He really has found his niche and has excelled beyond all of our expectations. <laughs> I mean, he started out pump and dumps, 
and from the pump and dumps. Shorting you know, pump and dumps, not doing pump the pump and dumps. And dumps. Right. Let's be very clear. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Untrained people are like, what are you talking about? He's really ah. found his craft, his, 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 uh, his perspective. I would agree. Oh, speaking of which, damn it. Uh, yeah, no, what? No, it what? Went red. I missed it. It's quick. M O X C? No. Oftentimes, if you wait on the bid, it will pop back out and give you an entry. I'm going to wait for a bounce now. I can't. I can't chase this. Uh, I'll eat in DC, though, spiking over 26. Nice. Push 27. That's nice. So, Kyle, while he makes money, he looks for more money to be made. <laughs> it's an interesting thing that traders do. Oftentimes, they're in the right play, and then you're looking for another play. And it boggles my mind. <laughs> I just missed LTNC. It was literally perfect. Seven twos, now seven fives. Luring in the early dip buyers, now seven sixes. Ay, ay, ay. Just on, bounce, bounce. If it were me and I was looking at LTNC, I'd be like, crash to four. Give me that and go all in. I, you know, I want that, but you have to understand it's still mid promo, so they're going to support it. Right. And, you know, if you can make half a penny a share, I mean, this is an easy half a penny a share. Easy. And I was trying to buy 300,000 shares, so that would have been like 1,500, but. Uh, I got two gay short MOXC. On the bounce, bounce. Got right up to green red. Um, about 10 cents from green red. Yeah. All right, Let me get did you short another 1,000 shares for me? I want, got my demo, right? Uh, yep, I will. I'll enter right now. How much I'm risking? I'm risking, uh, I'm risking 1,000 bucks, I can short one more. You always got to add another 1,000 shares for the homies back home. Now it's, now it's pulling in more. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, yeah, I wish I got more. Mm. 22,000? Yeah, I wish I got more. So Kyle's, Kyle's a bigger trader than 2,000. Most of you that are watching this, you, you maybe are like, you know, we beginning your career. We got Roy to rise! Roy's running in! <laughs> Show Roy! Hey, there's Roy. Welcome to the club, Roy. The, the one-man this, warrior. This is Ali. Dude, pleasure to meet you. I hear great things. Thank you, man. Hello, man. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What is what is your nice profit? You. How do you say? Let's just hear it. I'm not going to say anything. How much have you made now? Around six hundred forty eight to six hundred sixty, no, eight hundred sixty something like that. Eight hundred sixty thousand. Again, they just say eight hundred sixty thousand, or you say eight hundred sixty instead of eight hundred sixty thousand. He just said he's like, oh, I'm up five twenty, five thirty. Yeah. Why do Why do people not say the thousand? Do you just want to like? Because I don't keep track like exactly uh, how much money I make. No, no, no. But I'm saying whether you made eight hundred or nine hundred thousand, you yeah. were gonna say like eight hundred, eight thirty. Like yeah. you abbreviate it. Yeah, that's true. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have really no idea. I, I, I it's, I, it's just fascinating. That's yeah. why I didn't want to warn him. Look at LTNC. Half a cent bounce. Beautiful. Is this something to trade? Uh, like a few hours ago, it was nothing on my scanner. So now, much to trade. Uh, little, Look little, at little, EENF little, down 70% percent plus. 70%. Crazy. Oh, look, see here. I don't have enough short. I only have 2K. I should have like 4. But we'll take it. Uh, yeah, I already drunk like 2 PS in the uh, meat, so I'm not going to trade. <laughs> nice. That's smart there. This is my amigo. <laughs> we got drinks there if you want anything. We got waters if you want to sober up. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you here in Dubai for? Uh, I'm now here for like two and a half weeks. Nice. And I will stay here like in total for seven weeks because the situation back home is just terrible with COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to stay here. Very hot. The Netherlands. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, they, like, nice. Complete lockdown, everything is shut down. We have a curfew and like you have to get mm -hmm. home at like nine. Now, now it's at 10 because the ch uh, time changes. So what part of the Netherlands? In the north. Throwing it. The Great North. The Great North. Yes. That's cool. I like Amsterdam. You've been there? Yeah, how many times? Oh, you're right, Hedy. CYDY panics. Yeah, that's 20 cents from 4 to 380 right now. LA. Hedy is being uh, the photographer, videographer. He's documenting. I like this. I think, I think you're going to do well. Uh, D yeah, DKMR Extreme Fighting. Pop and dump. Is it? Yeah. Me and Kyle used to short that one. <laughs> Which one? DKMR, we used to talk about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I missed GTHR. GTHR 3 to 13, now back down to 8. Damn. Too many plays. When it rains, it pours. Pretty sweet, man. 
<laughs> you like it? Yeah. Right? It's not Crazy. too bad. Definitely the best. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so Harry, one of my old students, actually got it for us. He's used the patterns and made millions on crypto. On crypto? On crypto, crazy. yeah. So he's and like, a lot of people like crypto's pretty booming right now. He's, he's done very well. So we'll see. Um, you know, this is all him. This, is, this ain't me. I'm, I'm too cheap for this. <laughs> I, this. This was me in a past life. Now I spend all my money on charity. But It's a good thing as well. Yeah, I like it. But, you know. I'll, I'll take student charity too. Yeah, of course. Students, <laughs> this is to all the students out there watching multiple camera angles. If you like my what I teach, feel free to get me sweets at, at the Burj. You know, <laughs> right? I'm not angry about this. Um, are you guys liking the Burj? Oh, it's incredible. Right? It's next level. We got Kyle. What are you at? How do you say your total profits? Uh, one point seven. Do you really just say 1.7? 1.7 million, yeah. Honey, how much are you up? 1.3. Do you, but do you know, I mean, now we've talked about it, but do you normally say 1.3? You don't say 1.3 million? 1.3. 13. 13. I mean 13. 13 hundreds of thousands? Is that what you say? Fill in the blank yourself. Yeah. Thirteen hundred thousand. I think I think it might also just be because like all you guys are successful, and I find that successful students are very humble. So like you don't want to necessarily say the big numbers to like brag. By the way, INVU is at seventy four. Oh. Totally miss that. Holy yeah, crap! That's gonna be a great short. INVU up to seventy four. Congrats to all long. I am still saying this week. I totally agree with Kyle. IMD is going to be a great short. Of course it is. It's got a lot of liquidity. It's up a frick ton. I mean, it's up from like, what, 10 cents to 70? And five, six Dude, days. Dude, out of all the plays, literally I traded it the other day. I actually like bought it and had to like take a small loss. And even because I included oh, it in my daily beautiful. recap, like everyone, all the pumpers are saying, Mr. Sykes is buying, Mr. Sykes is uh, investing. I so I'm like, I traded it for a bit buy and lost. Money. Some data. Like, at least they call you yeah, Mr. Sykes. Well, they're trying to yeah, like weird. show that like you know like legitimate yeah. invest. Like I, I lost on it. I did bought it. Pump better. What the hell? Like, going. I should more short there. Dude, too many plays. I totally miss LTN. LTNC is now a ten percent bounce. Seven nine. Did you catch that, Ollie? No. Were you watching I, it? I, yeah, I was watching. I wanted more fun to catch it. Good. Uh, Patience rewards. No, three no. billion. Really? Yeah, big float or big worth. Sure, it's standing, so full might be smaller, but not gonna be. I don't think it's that much smaller. I'd throw this in the middle. Much more cheap in the way. Yeah. Because Nasdaq is like like low floats. Much more, yeah. Yeah, Nasdaq. Yeah. Let's see what you have. Uh, three ninety. Oh my god, this thing's going. God, I'm out of charts. This thing is going. I was a seasoned veteran. Been around the block a couple I times. I traded on a laptop for probably half my career until I got monitors, so I'm used to this. He was a short seller for four years, and his fifth year he turned long by Turn long. He go long. He go yeah, long. take a take a look around. Make yourself at home. We got little little towels if you want to do some burpees. <laughs> Thank you. I'm good. It's like a parabolic on INVU, okay. yeah. but I don't know. The charts. I ended up uh, what did I do? Forty burpees yesterday. And how much did you make today? So, uh, how much am I up? I've locked in uh, forty-seven hundred. Forty-seven more burpees. Forty. I I need to literally forty-seven hundred so far. But I missed LTNC. That would have been like fifteen hundred. And I missed the INVU spike. Um, I wouldn't have gone big, but that breakout over sixty-five. Is now at 78. That would have been nice. Uh, probably, I don't know, maybe like another thousand. So, I, like 47 out of, out of like 7,500. Oh, and I missed GTHR. That actually would have been my play. That's from four cents, three cents up to 14 cents. Now back to 12, and I missed the dip by at eight. So, the difference in what you're capable of minus. Ah! Eight. GTRH, new highs at 16. You gotta be kidding me! What was that? The difference is what? Preparation? The difference, yeah, well, yeah. You go with that one. What were you going to say? I was just going to count how many burpees you owe me. I, I'm going to do 200 burpees. 
Okay. I'm gonna over over burpee. Ooh, Look at this. Burpee. Look at GTHR 18.7. Perfect dip buy at eight. Roy, I blame you. Roy's an easy person to blame. Roy's upstairs somewhere checking out this week, getting inspired. That's fine. No, it's cool to meet students. Ali was kind enough to come before the market opened. Roy had beers and came <laughs> after the market opened, distracting me from my GTHR dip buy. <laughs> GTHR came out with a platform for wastewater testing, a more effective way to control the, the COVID chart? pandemic. Go back to the chart. Unbelievable. What's Unbelievable. That? This is the IMVU. Oh, we're going to short IMVU. I'll come back from retired trading is beautiful. for IMVU. IMVU is very So you wait, you wait for the good plays and you come out of retirement. By the way, IPNFF is doing nothing. Yeah, it's the same. I haven't traded it's like nothing. Perfect. Yeah, already four million shares traded on MVU. Retired today. Yeah, you re Ooh, covered being retired on the MLC. sidelines is good. When you have a solid fourth five thousand dollar profit and you don't take it due to greed, that's not retirement. That's called cockiness. There's a oh. difference. Cut your hair, you damn hippie. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Simpsons oh, I have, like, Do you remember that Simpsons C, episode? Yeah. <laughs> We're like who was it? Like it was like Don Mattingly, and he had like sideburns, and they're like cut the sideburns, and they're like still too long. And so then he like shaves off his whole head. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, GTHR is my kind of play. What's your pattern, Roy? Or it really depends. Like uh, first forte, I like a lot. Uh, most of the breakouts, uh, dip buys. I'm a pioneer. Uh, I'm also getting pretty well <laughs> at like uh, afternoon breakouts. Yeah. And listed stocks, and I'm trying to. Um, Get better at gap up shorts. Look at GTHR, unbelievable, 21. The overextending gap up is my favorite. I like that one a lot. Yeah. That's my favorite. You get like a really good risk reward. Yeah, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah. Like the best. You get short before SSR is just great. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Uh, Especially when you get like crazy low. Oh, low I got some, nice. Mm -hmm. Get some morning spikes in there. Yeah. All right, we're, got we're, some at 17.5, All out, MOXC for 1700. Nice. Good stuff. Oh my God. 0. 0.21. Oh, that would be so good. I had like 4,000 shares. Morning spiker. I'm on vacation. Yeah, I'm doing the same mentality, man. I pressed it for like three days, but I pressed it just too late. It's a mistake. When I'm on vacation, you're on vacation. But when I envy you. That's true. That's like when they give you lemons, you make lemonade. Right, you GTHR is up to 39. The dip buy was at 8 cents, which Roy made me miss. But I got in at 20, 21, now into the 30s. Unbelievable. Whoa. GTHR is up 886%. They're trying to control the Somebody pandemic with the wastewater. Number four, oh, what? Two idea away came back. Four, oh, Dude, four, ten. forget about that. Focus. Look at this. This is unbelievable. It's now up 1,200% at 47 cents. I have a $9,000 position, no, $15,000 position, and I'm up 17,000, no, 15,000. Hold up. Oh, shit's getting crazy. Dude, this is madness. The spread is 10 cents, this is just stupid. Oh, shit, it's so much bigger here. This is just, this is just stupid. So Tim's making a lot of money. Well, I'm trying to. I don't know if I can. The spread is literally 10 cents. I can't even exit. Um, but, I mean, this is just, you know, what, what happens with these penny stocks lately, where these things are just going absolutely madness. GTHR. Good filming, Huddy. Thanks. You done? I'm done. Good. We have this other one going too. You know, for me in a slow market, it's all about let the plays come to you. Don't go searching for them. I mean, they're coming to me and they're just coming like really fast. Exactly the same, man. Exactly the same. In the beginning, I was like, I always trade like every day, even when no place. And that's about the time that I lost money. And now I'm just like not what trading. Well, yeah, yeah. whether you lose money or not, doesn't make, it doesn't make a difference. But you know, how much money are you going to make on, on a C minus play, right? Yeah, and it's like yeah. a lot of stress from it, and yeah. Like, it's different for people, but like, you go for a thousand bucks, and like, yeah. how much effort are you putting yeah. in for a thousand I, bucks? I yeah, right? I understand, man. So for me, it's like, is it going to make me 20K? Is it going to easily make me 20K? Yeah. And then do I want it? Like, I envy you, 
That goes to a buck twenty. Yeah, I'm gonna show it. Of course. I'm gonna show it with the force of a thousand waterfalls. <laughs> I'm gonna make twenty k. That's forceful. It's very forceful. I got some out at thirty two five. Dude, this and play I, is crazy. If I cannot trade the rest of the month and just hit IMBU, mm -hmm. I'm happy. Yeah. I make more money than ninety percent of traders. Right? 100%. But what's hard is like every trader wants to trade every single freaking day, every single freaking minute, every single freaking stock, and then. It also been losing like a lot of paper cuts and everything. And the like, mentality, and everything. right? And it brings the mentality. Yeah, yeah. You lose the emotional capital, the mm -hmm. intelligence capital, the knowledge capital, and you just you get hesitant. You get less confident. You're like, do I really want to be doing? Do I really want to size into this play? Like the last play, you know, I sized in, I made a thousand, I lost a thousand, drained me. I have you just like, conserve. I was in the circle like last year after the summer. Like it was pretty. Uh, Quiet at that moment. I remember I, I went crazy. surfing. I stopped. Yeah. I went summer retirement. I love it. Yeah. I, I made like a lot of mistakes in time. It drained me like crazy. Well, that's good. You learned. Yeah. At least true. you learn. I mean, every every mistake is a good learning curve. It is, even if it doesn't seem like it in, in the moment. Later on, yes, one hundred percent. But once you once you reach your stride, once you reach your consistency, that's when you can start just like really getting in where you fit in. Like you just like wait for it to come to you and you know that like most plays that you just want to like, you get that gut feel. You're just like yeah. in, that, in that moment, it's like, oh, I have to yeah. trade this for I some reason. And, and it yeah. usually leads to like a one-to-one -one risk reward type idea. It's yeah. like, it's like you win, you lose, whatever, but it doesn't move the account. True. It becomes a wallet pattern is what it becomes. So if you can wait for the ideal setup to just like, you know, the, the, the best breakouts, the best first red days, and you can just hit those. Like if you hit three of them a month yeah. Yeah. and you can size in, yeah. That's your money. That's your money through, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, you get like at least eighty percent of your profits are coming from those three. Right, and then a hot market aside, I mean, hot market. Like you got to trade every day. You can't eat. You can't sleep. You can't drink. You just got. You got to hit it. You got to yeah, hit it strong. Day, like every day. Once yeah. upon a time, we were in a hot market just a few weeks ago, and you went snowboarding. <laughs> How much did you miss out? I went skiing. How much did you miss out? Um. Did that cost that? you fifty thousand, maybe? Yeah, maybe 30, 40. Yeah. But <laughs> now, slower credit. market up until literally today, or yesterday, yesterday. But I don't think, like, what's if you have money, it's, that's it. it's good. To, it's and you can be, like, what's worth it's worth waiting for a good setup. No, but literally, this is the hottest market in decades. So you yeah, have to... beginning of the year, it was you have crazy. To January, February, yeah. like... Yeah. I made both almost over 200K. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I made most of my money in January, February. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I made all of my profits like in those three months. I made my entire 2020 in. Whoa, FTXP. January through March. <laughs> did, you guys, did you see FTXP <laughs> failed I pretty hard? Uh, what was that other yeah. one? Uh, TWMC? Yeah, no. What was that other one? Damn it, NWGC. Did that keep going? No, NW. So morning overnights, morning overnights are not really good. Good right now. Over two hundred percent in multiple days. Yeah, it's insane. Like I was gonna be long NWGC or FTXP overnight, but didn't neither of them work. Morning spikes are in. Look at this. Most of them GTHR from five up to forty-five. That is so. I got it at twenty-one. Just a little thing. We get a few dollars. This. Yeah, that's around pretty, 36. Like easy, you know, and I failed down. How much did you make? Yeah. Uh, like 4,500. Like I was so waiting for you to say 45. To come there. No, no, no I, I said so 45. 45 what? I said yeah. full yeah. I thought I was up more, but yeah. I didn't even know how many of my position size are. Yeah, I'll take it. Even though I missed, I really wanted to load up at 8. But plays are just happening too yeah. quick. I'm a family man. That's just oh, a little too much pressure. Crazy. What does your family think? Do they like this? Well, at the beginning, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't making any money. But, yeah. I, I, I made it, yeah, but the end, no, no. What did they say in the beginning? Yeah, at the beginning, just, oh, you have to quit. It's not going to give you, take you anywhere. Really? Just stop it. My wife is like... How long, how long was your wife giving you crap? Uh, she's like every day. She told me every day I'm hearing Tim's voice. I'm like, <laughs> 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 uh, actually, I, now uh, she loves Tim's voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now of course, and now uh, yeah, she would love to meet him. Nice. Yeah. Um, no, that's cool. You know, uh, I'm glad that that you stuck with it. You know, many people yeah. like they don't like. They're like, oh, well, I'll try it for a week. I'm like, what? What does that do? Like, yeah. That's nothing, you know, you're, you're literally training some for something that's much more yeah, long term. Sure. I think we should revisit the, the skiing trip for a sec. I don't like cold weather, I get sinus infections. <laughs> but I will say that Monday that I was in Colorado, I went to Breckenridge. Oh, your skiing trip? Yeah, okay. I went to Breckenridge, 
had yeah. a good time. Yeah. Monday morning, that was the day AABB broke out. Yeah. Made sixteen thousand dollars on that stock. Okay. Could have done a lot better in front of my screens. Correct. So that's where I think the difference between sixteen and forty is. Yeah. But that's the beautiful thing about trading. What? Do it from anywhere in the world. Yeah. I trust me, you're you're preaching the choir. I, I'm the one who told you this, but you know, <laughs> like, but but again, you know, forty thousand, you're just not getting those moves all the time. So I think it's your duty to like respect that when it happens. Hundred percent. Right. I totally agree. I don't know. Were you like a zombie in back in January and February? Yeah, I was like, I literally insane. looked at my hands. I was like, I don't have enough fingers to like yeah, trade it's all like these a, stocks. It was way too insane. I was getting my mind in beginning of March. I was like, oh man, I need a break. Yeah. And, just, and then you came to Dubai. Yeah. And have you been Dubai. here? Really good. Have you been here before though? No, not this place. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I've been here like to eat, but not like in a room or something. Bro, let's move here. Yeah. Man. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's the thing, like the weather is here all year is like crazy. Yeah. And it makes me really happy, man. Like the sun and everything when you go outside. Are you gonna stay? You're not going back? Uh, no, I'm gonna back. I need to. <laughs> because I have no I only have like two laptops here and I really would like my setup. Especially when like a question marks comes again or anything else. I like to trade on that. But for now it's fine, like I'm trading on laptop. How long have you been trading? Two and a half years, three years, something like that. Okay. So you've experienced a little bit of everything. Yeah. That's good. How did you uh, How did you find me? It's a good question. It's <laughs> a good question. I think I, I was talking about a friend with, about trading stocks, and then I don't know. Like the thing with mobiles, if you're talking about something, like pop-ups come like about trading stocks, and then get like a pop-up from you or like or something on Facebook. Yeah, your phones are listening. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And I thought like, okay, this this looks like it. So okay. Like, why not? Why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because I don't do it like school, man. It's like. You learn things you ninety percent of the things you learn you don't have to use in the real world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and MD kept going. I don't like these jobs. Three. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Three nine. That's the thing about trading. Like you, sometimes you work like twelve or fourteen hours a day, and some there are days you just free for weeks. Yeah, yeah. And this is what I like. And if it works, and I really like trading. For me, it's like not working. I really love trading. So. Enjoy. Yeah. That's I'm happy when I'm standing in front of the screen and looking like, oh, dude, I'm tricky stocks and I'm really happy about yeah. it. Oh yeah, alright, it was good. But it was also bad for my problem in the beginning. Uh, I had to trade it like way too much. No, I did it. Like, that was yeah, a decent. Trust me, I, 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 I did yeah, yeah, the first two years I was doing more trading. I was going into circuits like, and the first six months I was doing good. Free pump in that moment. It's a small position, like 10, 15. Quiet, 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 quiet. Non-millionaires turn to talk for a sec. I remember I told you, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I filmed you from the Maldives. Yeah, yeah. Now when I filmed 1500 to 5000, I think it was in the first six months. Nice. But then, uh, then it got harder. Stopped making sense. I yeah. guess because I was, I mean, I was following uh, other traders' ideas and, and stuff. Never follow so, any traders' ideas. Yeah, yeah. Why? So, uh, and then I kept going to circles for three years, um, on and off trading. I just so many times I wanted to quit trading. But then finally, I stick, I st I stuck with this one. Good thing, man. Really yeah. good. I don't have any success. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's really crazy. When now do you, now does your wife understand? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's she's there in Dubai more she's shopping, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's cool. No, that's that's sick. But what made you keep going? I'm just curious, like when you were losing in the beginning. When your wife is like telling you like to stop doing this, because I think a lot of people watching this right now, yeah. especially in the beginning, you know, it, even if they're making money or maybe it's just overwhelming, what keeps you in it? Like you, I, I knew this is real. I, I I can do it eventually if I get like if I if I, if I study more if I do all the hard work. I know I could do it. Yeah, but how did you know you could do it? I mean, it looked ring. That's it. Yeah. And I yeah. think you, you see other traders uh, succeed as well. Yeah. Like when you're in this uh, chat room, you see when you see other traders yeah, succeed, yeah. 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 you're like, okay, if they can do it, I can do it as well. Yeah, you know, for sure. Like, you just need to yeah. put in work. It takes a lot of time, of course, but it will be worth it in the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is different from when trader to other. Like I've seen. Um, Especially like, when you do, uh, you Kyle, you Kyle, like Jack. Came up like last year, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, okay, man, I need to step up my game as well. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> I remember I watched um, 
trade tickers and I saw trying to make a trade and it was like yeah. one of the most simplest trades like like there's no way I can't do that you yeah know? like it's true you know but that's the thing with trading it's the mindset is uh, like 70% of that. Yeah, oh yeah. That's the majority of it. Because everyone, everyone can learn a pattern. Yeah. It's how you handle it. But if you like to understand everything, it's like, I don't want to say it's easy, but like, if you get a hang of it, it's like pretty easy. It's once easier. Yeah, yeah. Well, once you get the process, right? Yeah. Like whether it's one trade, two trades, yeah. five trades, like one pattern, two patterns, and then it's just rinse and repeat, right? True. And then yeah. you can size up. Did you guys both like start small at first? Yeah. I started with like 5K and I lost like 3K in the beginning. Like, yeah. It's like, feels bad <laughs> and I filmed it like with, again with like 3k and it was okay. like a thing and then I started like sizing down like way because I did, first I lost like eight hundred dollars on the straight and it's like that's way too much yeah I'm not using like proper risk for the reward yeah, or anything yeah. Yeah. yeah and now and then I just went to like 100 uh, 100 uh, dollar risk every trade mm -hmm. and I stick to it like for a few months and then like it went crazy from June, like when CYDY happened like last year, yeah, uh -huh. that's when everything really started to uh, explode with me. Cool. Because I made like 50k in a day. Yeah. I guess it was like, I had like 62k at the moment, and then I made like 50k in one day, and I was like, oh man, this is, crazy. This is insane. And then but like, ah, oh, in, in, uh, in the summer it was pretty good, I made like 30k things like in July, and like 40 in August and then I made like a pretty big mistake with this uh, shorting like gap ups yeah mm -hmm. and I just kept adding and adding and oh adding my adding god did you almost blow up I uh, lost like 72k in a day yeah and it was like the turning point like okay I need to fix this it's yeah like, it's insane yeah dude and then like from November everything started to kick off again like when the, all the EV stocks went crazy mm -hmm. like I made like a lot of money for my doing this week at least yeah and then i was really prepared for june february and march nice do you have things on or something yeah that's cool yeah. mm -hmm. thr oh, but i think like there, there, there definitely lost, like a lot of pain when you lose like a lot of money but uh, there are the best lessons for me 100 mm -hmm. oh, yeah. because you don't want to feel like that problem again correct and, like you feel so bad i was laying in my bed and i couldn't sleep and i was like so you yeah. lost how much was it? Seventy two. Seventy two thousand. Yeah. You say seventy two. Yeah. Just like <laughs> seventy two. What were you? What What did that take you down from overall? Like fifty percent of my account. Oh my god. Uh, no. Yeah, little under fifty. But you started with what? Five thousand. Yes. What did you start with? Fifteen hundred. Started with fifteen hundred. Wow. You started with five thousand. So you grew the five thousand to like one hundred and forty thousand. Yeah. And then lost half in one day. Yeah. <laughs> Cut losses quickly, no one had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. How did you get, how did you come back from that? It was pretty hard because I was like, I don't know if I can still want to do this because I was still like in school. And I just like, but I need to really fix this problem. And I was just looking at everything and I couldn't find out what was my problem. Yeah. And then I looked like, uh, when I, my wrist broke, yeah. I just kept adding. Yeah. And, but it, you get like away with like 80% of the time. And like the one trade blows you away. Yeah, you only one. Yeah. So you learned the wrong lessons. Yes, in the beginning. And you almost, you're lucky you only lost half your account, True. frankly. And then that loss. But that was the thing, after that, I had another big loss from like 22K. Okay. So that was, I was like down to like 50K again. And yeah. Like, oh my God. And that's like the hard thing. You need to like size down really big because otherwise you're just gonna yeah. get blown away and can't trade any, anymore. That's my problem. Yeah. But then like, I could fix myself and I saw like, other people's I saw like uh, Tim Gutami's uh, journey, like when I watched all his uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube videos. Yeah. Because he also lost like a few hundred. He had some big losses. Days. He had yeah. some bad habits, you know? And I said, like, okay, I also have like really bad habits and I need to fix them. So I just took an example of that, like writing down what you do wrong and fix it and like improve every month what yeah. you do wrong. No, bad habits, you know, you can get away with it. In, Especially in like crazy markets. In like hot markets, yeah. right? So, yeah. Like that's the thing. Like a lot of people learned a lot of bad habits in this latest bubble. True. And they don't know that they've done it. And yeah. like they're just like I'm, I'm trying to warn them to stay safe. And they're like, shut up, you're a dinosaur. I'm like I, you know, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Like the classic rules, you can't just ignore the rules. Giant yeah. hands. The rules are for a reason. Well, I mean, you have to learn. You either learn, you either listen, or you learn the hard way. I mean, yeah. either way, you're gonna learn. Yeah. But I feel bad for a lot of people. 
you know, who, who just have come up recently because I just know how it's going to end. And they're like, how do you know? You don't know me. I'm like, it's not you. It's yeah, the market. I mean, like, yeah. 